Uh oh. Here I go, about probably gonna die it again. Your judgment day has come. I'm probably gonna die here. I could just tell. The guy has a noose around his neck. Alive. Yay. I was just shy of killing that guy, but they let me stay alive. Thank goodness. Yeah, I want to save. <laughs> that must be Mr. Black. All right. Let's do this. Found his weakness. I said that went pretty well. Yes. We're packing, probably making another stop by the town. Yep. 
inventory. Sheriff Bartlett says we're safer than ever. Well, hey, I'll buy this. Bounty claimed on the most... Sheriff Bartlett said... Oh, already bought that. So that means if Jack is here, I probably still won't be able to buy that thing from him. If he's here, that is. My word, stranger. You are getting to be quite a familiar face in these parts. Why, I stopped by the sheriff's office just the other day and caught the governor talking of your exploits. Seems he stopped by to see Sheriff Bartlett, and they got to talking about a mysterious gunslinger that was cleaning up the territory. Governor Griffin wanted Bartlett to be sure not to upset the balance and encourage undesirables to leave the area. What? Why? Oh, the freaking royal. I'm Rumble guessing thing. the governor wanted to be sure we had plenty of entrance for the Battle Royale this year. Oh, Battle Royale, not Royal Rumble. Man, <laughs> wrestling. My word, strange. I've been seeing you around quite a bit, stranger. You look like the type that hangs around a saloon. You watch yourself in there. I hear Sam doesn't take kindly to people throwing their weight around in his saloon. Old Hans Canyon lets Sam do whatever he wants. If there's ever trouble at the saloon, Hans slips out the back until it blows over. Yeah, I reckon Sam and Hans have a little agreement about what goes on in that saloon. Any trouble starts, Sam will finish it. I've been seeing you around quite... Hey, mister, is it true what they're all saying about Tarnation? That it ain't more than a ghost town run by some crazy undertaker and a bunch of goons. Hey, mister, is it true what they're all saying about Tarnation? You looking for work, stranger? I have a friend who's hiring hard-working folk. She owns a small cattle ranch just a ways up a yonder. She's had trouble finding help recently. Seems she's having trouble keeping good workers around. Bart's from Longhorns boys, Hal and Luke, have taken a shine to the property and are trying to scare her away. You looking for work, Strut? You hear about all that hullabaloo up in Tarnation? Peoples are saying the whole town was nothing but a trap for the unwary. Seems the undertaker there weren't nothing more than a grave robbing murderer who bury people alive and steal their belongings once they'd expired. Ah, what's the world coming to? Things were never like that in my day. And just to think, I buried my sister up there not six weeks ago. You hear about all that ho- All right, talk to them, talk to her. It looks like I missed out on getting that thing from Jack, so. Oh well. sell the finest goods this side of the Mississippi. On that, there is no doubt. Uh, 
Uh, someone's mowing out the, the, their lawn outside. I can hear the mower. If you can hear that, my bad. Don't want to bother you guys with the sound of a mower. But I can't tell them to stop keeping the grass not short, right? Welcome to my shop, mister. How may I be of service? If you can hear them, uh, then you probably just have to put up with it for maybe like an, like an episode or two. Not an episode, a part or two. Just because I'm not recording this session for long, so, uh, I'll be recording at a different time. I usually record, like, later in the day when there aren't stuff going on outside, noise, the services, as such. Don't suppose I could interest you in a little more firepower? Might come in handy, things being as they are. 12 gauge shotgun. I'll buy this. And then I'll buy the upgrade. I'm mostly focused on buying stuff for guns, honestly. You're making me thirsty just looking at you. What'll it be? I don't want no trouble, mister. My uncle doesn't like it when other men talk to me. Tell me something. Is life always this hard, or is it just when you're a kid? Ah! The bounty hunter. The whole town is talking about your exploits. You've even managed to attract the attention of the governor. I don't want no trouble, mister. He has asked me to pass on his regards to you. And thanks you for making the territory a safer place for good, honest people. But this town doesn't like new faces, especially ones with a taste for killing like you have. So I would like to offer you some advice. Do not stick around. Pack up your mule and ride far away from here. Because the way I figure, there's really not too much of a future in this town for you. Okay, uh, we've checked every place really, so let's go into the sheriff's office. You're one hell of a bounty hunter, mister. You'd make me one fine deputy. I just want my money. From what I hear, the wagon hasn't arrived with the bank's gold. You'll have to take that up with Mr. Peabody, the bank manager. We gotta head over to the bank. Hello. Can't say I've seen you before. I just need one more week. I can pay you the five thousand dollars that I owe, but the governor is bribing my ranch hands to leave, and I cannot do it by myself. Well, why not just sell up to the governor? You could always move into town and work in the saloon. The saloon? How dare you! I just need one more week. I don't think the owner of the bank would approve. Well, maybe I can speak with him myself. I'm sorry, but the governor is too busy for the likes of you. 
To hell with that evil son of a bitch. He's mining enough gold out of Bear Mountain. What the hell does he want my damn ranch? Man. I'm sorry, sir. How may I be of assistance? I want my money. We have a small problem. Then tell me about the golden bear mountain that young lady was talking about. I'm sorry, I can't disclose anything about our clients. Ooh! Then tell me where she lives. And when I get back, you better have my gold. <laughs> I mean, I would get him his gold. I mean, he just killed probably the three most dangerous people in the territory. I mean, damn, give him his money. Oh, we get to play as her now. but the governor made us a better offer. Good luck, Sam. God, not you too, Sam. I mean, if he didn't get, he does get more money. That's like kind of the whole point, right? Yeah. One down. Oh god. Ouch! That handle looks too hot to touch! Oh. <laughs> why her gun's like a cannon I don't understand but you know why not I'm gonna die
Alright, what's next? Oh, these two. They're somehow riding bulls. That's one. I know you, stranger. Tell me about the gold mine in Bear Mountain. I know nothing about a gold mine. You might want to take a trip on down to the saloon in Brimstone. It's always littered with a bunch of drunks yapping about it. But watch yourself, mister. You want no business with the folks in that town. This place is all I've ever known. Ma'am? Five thousand pieces in gold. This'll help me keep my ranch. I remember having trouble with that mission the first time, but I think I got the hang of it the second time, I guess. Alright, let's continue. Back to good old red. I'm 
trying so hard here. These girls are gonna die. Guys keep coming out of nowhere. Hey, who stopped the music? Dick. Are you just supposed to survive as long as you can? I'm trying to talk to these ladies. There we go. Increased health man. Oh yeah, I'll buy that. I'm just honestly exploring because I think I'm going to fail this part. I'm trying to figure out how to kill them. Yeah, we're gonna retry. We already saw this cutscene, so I'm gonna go buy that buy that bathtub. Heck, I'm just trying to buy a bathtub. Oh my god, people are dying. What is going on? How do you kill these people? Wow, I'm failing this twice as fast. Oh. 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 